A mostly peaceful day, but with the talk of as many as 500 protesters descending upon downtown Baltimore, police, they were there. They showed up in force today. Yeah, ABC2 News' Jeff Hager has more on the response to demonstrators. Jeff? Well, Catherine, you could say they learned their lesson back in April. City police have help from Anne Arundel, Montgomery, and Prince George's counties, as well as the Maryland State Police, to help keep the peace. You could call it the peaceful assembly of people exercising their First Amendment rights, with at least this one glaring exception. We are fighting against the cops. Cops bashing us, killing us, and I was down here this morning protesting peacefully, and one of the protesters got hit by a car, got hit on, locked up, and tasered. Um, well, threatening to be tased in his neck. Of course, determining the real victim in the incident is a matter of perspective. We've made one arrest for a person who chose not to protest peacefully and he assaulted a police officer and the police officer escaped with minor injuries. On this day, police were prepared for virtually anything. Since the April riots, they say they've beefed up training, improved communication between agencies and better equipped their officers to better protect themselves and the city at large. I think you've seen uh, today the fruits of that labor. Uh, the uh, department is much more nimble, much more responsive, much more collaborative, and I just want to thank all of our partners for getting us here today. That collaboration includes the state, after the finger pointing that came with the state of emergency declaration that brought the National Guard to the city's streets four months ago. We're here to help the city and help the mayor if, if it's needed or desired. So we have the resources to assist it. But there's a plan. There is a plan. And that planning may be crucial at a time when the death of Freddie Gray while in police custody has touched a collective nerve with citizens. This has been going on for years, since the 60s. I know my history and I know it. So they cannot say, oh, we bunch of monkeys, we drug dealers, we are not. These cops that's doing this is outrageous, and they need to stop. The mayor says the city and its law enforcement partners have mapped out every scenario, their options for handling them, and all of the flashpoint dates associated with this case to make sure they're ready for anything. Jeff Hager, ABC2 News.